Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. I'm going to unbox some packages I got in the mail today. Uh, one of them I just took out of the thing. I got some, my fancy got me the Loot Crate socks. This is uh, the Ghostbusters 2 socks. So, cool. They're the Vivo, the Vigo, the Carpathian, I think it is the name of them. But, uh, the socks there. So, I have those. And we thought we were done getting socks, but I'm still getting socks, so. And then uh, Samurai Jack socks. So they're, they're going to be comfy in the winter. Uh, so there's that. <clears throat> and then we got some packages in the middle of the night. Not sure what all these packages are. Because I got stuff coming in from Kickstarters. I got stuff coming in from... Stuff that we've had ordered, pre-ordered, that hasn't shipped yet. We ordered last year. So, could be anything in these boxes right now. Okay, this is a white sheet. Okay, we got some pieces in here. And a sling sheet. So we got the Tesoro Phoenix Rising. Uh, so there's the front, the side. And of course the back. So I can't say you know, uh, I like the Tesoro games, and this one's supposed to have a little bit more meat on it, so like I said, they're, each one of them is like a separate game, but they like add different features to it, so, uh, this one, got that little, um, fancy rice paper type Japanese thing on it, um, you got the rules here, um, yeah, there's not much to the rules. This game is very simplistic. Simple. The art of Tesoro. So we just got artwork in here, which is just an art book. It came with it. Tesoro the Seas, the first game, stuff like that. It's, it's just the artwork. Just something he threw in for the heck of it. Just simple stick here. Okay, so these are tra the trays. So yeah, they're basically going to connect here. So that's cool. They fit in the box. So these are basically going to be trays, so you can easily pop out the the game boards. And this, like I said, this could be used for the other Tesoro games too, instead of the regular board. So, um, so it's practical for all different things here. So <clears throat> we got the tiles here, and I do apologize. This is going to be a longer video than normal because there's. A lot of stuff here. So they got the lantern tiles. I think these, yeah, they got this different lantern. They got the regular tiles. They're double sided. So I guess it's to, uh, you know, like, like interchanging the boards, I guess. So they're all like, yeah, they got the lantern tiles, which are like that. And that's what you're supposed to collect lanterns in this game. And like I said, you can, when you die, you, come, you can come back because you're a phoenix. You basically rise from your ashes. So you could basically go, if you die, like um, you get a second life. So it's sometimes it's strategic to go off the board. And then just come back somewhere else. So it kind of 
So yeah, if you played any of the Sorrow games, you kind of understand how the game works. It's the way of uh, the path, the way of the path, I believe is what it's called. This tells you how to assemble the. Uh, and then there's one more set here. I think you get bonus tiles too. And some, I think they're in the box, or maybe I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. So, yeah, they're just they guess had different tiles with different paths on them. So it's really, and then this is I guess the um, player elimination tiles. And then there's some tokens here, which I'm not sure what these are for yet. Um, the lanterns. I like the color. The lanterns look really nice. The stars. And then the phoenixes. So you got phoenixes, all different colors. Tons of different colors for phoenixes, um, like tons of variety of colors. So there's that. Then you get this is the first player marker. They were originally going to have it to where it was the inside was going to be the part that they were going to cut out, but it's a mold, so you could basically make your own. If you really, I have molding stuff. I could probably mold that. So those are, that's what comes in the main stuff here. This is stuff for the, uh, and these are to be used for other games. These are like the extra pieces for the other expansions, so it's just, so I gotta go through all this and see what everything is, but, um, that's that, Sorrow. I wasn't expecting a lot of stuff here. And then the last box here for today. I think we're supposed to get other packages this week too. I have no idea what this is. Oh, clip parks. Clip cut parks. So um <clears throat> Yeah, we have tons of stuff we had kickstarted and pre-ordered. Some of the stuff's late and some of it may you may not get here. As one of my videos about the loot and shoot video I put up. So rule book. From what I've understand, this game is very easy to understand. Um, this is just, I think, advertisements for other games they got. I really want to get, uh, what is it in here? I think it's in here. I really want the to tear below board games. I'd like, um, the, uh, the movie that is based off of the Tremors. Let me give you scissors. It's a four-player game, or solo. You can play even play it solo. There's special rules for solo. I think I got sleeves for this somewhere. So, I always get have sleeves. And then there's there's the regular ones, and then there's the advanced the gray ones, which are the advanced ones, which you can play with the advanced variant. Variant, I believe. So basically, these are your little... It's kind of like if you're familiar with Tiny Towns. 
it's kind of have a similar where these shapes are which you have to build and these mean you have to have the animal print on the tile to put it there this one requires it to be a green a red and it has to be connected because there's a bridge there so it means you have, to have two pieces one's got to be the red and then this one's got a, a recycle thing and they're all color coded and you're gonna get like five of these cards <clears throat> like I said these are the tokens that they're double some of them are double sided so you can get a token and then there's the die which um, tells you how many cuts you make in the game so when you roll this one you get four single one cuts so a cut would be going st straight so if I was you get they're all different I think yeah each of these sheets are different so a cut would be one this way I could do I can go one here I can't do like with us if it's got a single on dice right here the singles I could do one and two to cut this piece off, but I couldn't do one, two. So I had to cut one here if I wanted to. Maybe I wanted to cut one here, but it just has to be non-continuous cut. So it's gotta be separate places, but you can cut into the same piece. So if I wanted to go one, two to cut off this corner piece, because I wanted the green one, I could. Same with the four. It's four, four straight cut. So it would be like four inwards from the, from the outside, here or for this way or if you have a cut that's already pre-made you can go inside too it's so that's how it is and it's like each one of these are treated separately so that's where the, it's really tough about this game is like um when you're cutting these pieces out whatever falls out you have to use if you can't use that piece for whatever it's like if you got like a this two fell out together and you only needed a single green you would have to crumple it up if you can't use it on the board so so if you can't find a legitimate spot for it, so if I cut it out a green and the red here, it would be able to go there. But <clears throat> if I already had a red here and a purple here and I had a green and the red and it was already a piece there, you couldn't overlap them so it would get you crumple it up and put it on your side. So there are negative points at the end of the game or for throw, I should say, tiebreakers. So you're going to so you have to use all the pieces that cut out and then you can't cut a piece that's fallen even if you have a cut left. So you really strategically have to figure it out. No one gets the same type piece here. Like I said, they're all different. And I'm sure that you could probably reprint these or there might have to quarter more. I don't know if there's just replacement pieces or whatever. Most sim games have replacements. So, but and there's a lot of pieces here. So, a lot of replayability. Good game to play solo. If you're into like uh, games with, and of course, there's scissors. So, so yeah, it's kind of like a way to um, combine a, a city building game or a part. Well, in this game, it's a park. You're building parks with different rules. And then these tokens can be used to get you out of a jam. So you can actually put this on a color tile if it doesn't have the dog symbol on it or whatever. Animal symbol. So anyways, that's pretty much what I got today. So expect a, another live stream today of uh, my exercise game and the ring fit. And also um, maybe tonight at 7 I'll be doing uh, Jack Party Pot Pack 6. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.